So let's imagine someone's calling us up. They're saying, hey, we want to rent band equipment. We've already set up, by the way, the, the items on the left-hand side. So if I go to the uh, left-hand side and we go to the sales area and we go into the products and services, we have our items. By the way, if you're in the business view, that's located under the get paid and paid area, get paid section and the products and services there. And then we we put all of our rental stuff down here under a rental category which is shown by this little tag in the items and we said we're gonna we're, we're only gonna have the baseline band set we're not gonna be renting out like one drumstick or anything like that so you've got to pay us at least the, the two thousand but if you want to add on to it from that point then you can add on possibly have more complex guitars or expensive guitars from there or something and maybe that's uh, that's the system that we set up so that the data input can be as easy as possible so someone working over the phone can hopefully come up with an estimate uh fairly easily without you know having to get too crazy thought process on it so we're going to go customers estimate someone's calling in what's the customer's name it's going to be customer number five are you kidding customer number five customer number five what kind of practice problem is this? There's, where's, can't you come up with a name for crying out? Okay. Okay. Custom got a little lazy on the names. All right. Customer number five. So we're going to say that customer number five is then on the date. We're going to say 022723 is when they called in and we're going to make an estimate. We're going to say, what do you want? Customer number five. And they're like, we want a band set. So we're and so we're saying, you know, the base band set, if you want it, is going to be according to this here. Is it, it? You have to get that at least, and it has like two guitars, a drum set, and an amplifier. And so that's the baseline. But they're like, yeah, but we want another to add a guitar to it. So we're like, okay, if you want to add another guitar, we can we can save that for you as well. And so that's gonna, but that's gonna cost you, they want two more guitars. They say, well, it's gonna be $50 each for two more guitars that we have to hold on to here just to make sure that we don't rent them out to anybody else because people are coming in all the time trying to, trying to uh, rent out our guitars. And they also want an amplifier. So we're gonna say, all right, you want an amplifier too? Okay. And so they're gonna, they want four of those. We're gonna say <laughs> four amplifiers. They really want to piss people off. Okay. So there we have it. So that's going to come out. That would come out to 2260. And so then we can give them that we can, we could schedule uh, that we're going to hold on to this equipment to make sure that it's available when they come in and so on. And then we can use this number to try to estimate how much, um, try to estimate how much down payment we want. We might have a system of saying 10% down or something like that, but uh, note that this will not actually record anything. It'll just make an estimate, no impact on the financial statements. So I'm going to go ahead and, and save and close that. We're going to say, all right, we'll see you when you come in for the equipment.